assalamu alaikum dear students how are you i hope you are fine today we will study another drug uh, which is cyclosporine that is immunosuppressant drugs i have already told you immunosuppressant drugs are a class of drugs that suppress or reduce the strength of the body's immune system some of these drugs are used to make the body less likely to reject uh, a transplanted organ such as a liver heart or kidney uh, these uh, drugs are also called anti-rejection drugs. What is cyclosporine? Cyclosporine is an immunosuppressant drug widely used in organ transplantation to prevent rejection. Cyclosporine reduces the activity of the immune system by interfering with the activity and growth of T cells, preferably but not with B cells. It reduces the activity of the immune system by interfering with the activity and growth of T cells. So it decreases immunity by interfering or decreasing the activity of T cells. Cyclosporine is an immunosuppressant drug widely used in organ transplantation to prevent rejection. Cyclosporine immunosuppressant used in organ transplant organ transplant to prevent rejection that is why they are also called anti rejection drugs It was initially isolated from the fungus Tolipocladia inflatum. Most peptides are synthesized by ribosomes, but cyclosporine is a cyclic non-ribosomal peptide of 11 amino acid and contain a single D amino acid which are rarely encountered in nature. As you know, peptides are synthesized by ribosomes. Cyclosporine non ribosomal peptide it contains 11 amino acid including a D amino acid synthesized by an enzyme called cyclosporine synthetase and that is non ribosomal peptide amino acids including a D amino acid all peptide bond from this type of linkage C double bond NH that is carboxylic group of one amino acid uh, makes a peptide bond with the amino group of another amino acid and that linkage is called peptide linkage I will make the linkage of peptide linkage of uh, uh, D amino acid with a normal amino acid that is present in uh, cyclosporine that are 10 amino acids are normal and uh, 11th amino acid is D amino acid that that is carboxylic that is profile linkage because it contains 3 carbon okay and that is a minor group of that amino acid 
and uh, that is linked to the another amino acid of the peptide linkage cyclosporine that is one of the 10 amino acid and D amino acid I am going to form that is carbonyl group that is linked with amino of carbo, uh, amino group of amino acid that D amino acid contain hydroxy group and it contains butene there is a presence of double bond that is double bond NH and there is presence of carbonyl group of carboxylic acid and that will link with another normal amino acid and that ultimately forms a cyclic amino acid and that is a peptide linkage and that is that structure is called D amino acid. As I told you before that uh, cyclosporine comes from fungus uh, tolipocladium inflatum which was discovered in 1970. Tolipocladium inflatum was isolated from Norwegian soil samples. That it comes from the fungus Tolipocladium, uh, tolipocladium inflatum uh, which was discovered in 1970. Fungus Tolipocladium discovered in 1970. The fungus Tolipocladium inflatum was isolated from Norwegian soil sample. Fungus Tolipocladium inflatum isolated from Norwegian soil sample. It was initially isolated from the fungus Tolipocladium inflatum found in a soil sample. Isolated Tolipocladium inflatum that is found in soil that is soil fungus. The immunosuppressant effect of cyclosporine was found by J. F. Borel in 1976. Amino suppressant scientist name was J. F. Borel and he found that effect in 1970. Cyclosporin was approved for use in 1983 to prevent graft rejection in transplant. In 1983, it was approved for grafts in organ transplants. In 1997, it was approved for the treatment of psoriasis. 1997, it was approved for the treatment of psoriasis that is a skin disease autoimmune skin disease cyclosporine is marketed under the trade name neural sand immune and gangrel its trade names are as follows neural sand immune and 
gangrel. The major use of cyclosporin is that it prevents transplant rejection, arthritis, and psoriasis. First use is prevent rejection. Second, arthritis. Third, psoriasis. Dosage, mostly preferable route of administration is per oral, administered per orally and intravenously. Per orally, per orally it, its dose varies. Onset is unknown. Peak level of dose is reached. between 2 to 6 hours. When cyclosporin is administered intravenously, onset is unknown. Peak level is achieved at the end of at the end of infusion. Duration is unknown. The mechanism of action of cyclosporin is that it inhibits normal immune response by inhibiting interleukin-2. The mechanism of action of cyclosporin 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 inhibits normal immune, immune response of interleukin what are interleukins interleukins are a factor necessary for the activation of or initiation of T cells activity. If its activity is inhibited, so there is diminished T cell activity. So cyclosporin inhibits interleukin 2, interleukin in turn inhibits T cell activity. Interleukins distinguish what interleukins do. What interleukins to do, they distinguish normal cells from antigens. From antigens. What interleukin 2 does, it is necessary for initiation of T cell activity. Interleukin is responsible for distinguishing cell cells from foreign antigens. How does cyclosporin work? As cyclosporin enters the body, it suppresses T cells function. Reducing T cell function will enable successful transplantation since, since T cell purpose of function is to kill off objects viewed as foreign. Cyclosporin reduces the T cell function without affecting B cells functions and the production of antibodies. Therefore, suppressing T cell function allows for the transplanted organ to be accepted without a problem. Not all organ transplant will be rejected by the body. However, cyclosporin is used as a precautionary measure. The serious side effects associated with the use of cyclosporin CNS side effects include seizures, tremors, cardiovascular include hypertension, 
Gastrointestinal side effects include diarrhea, hepatotoxicity, nausea, vomiting, and urinary tract problems are nephrotoxicity. Dermatitis problems are usually hirsutism. What could precautionary measures a patient should take while taking uh, cyclosporine medication? Take medication at the same time each day. For example, if you are taking medication at 10 a.m. Uh, for the next morning, you will have to take the medication at the same time. Avoid grapefruit and uh, grapefruit juices. Doctor should discuss common side effects with the patient to make him compliance with the medication. What are the nursing con considerations while administering cyclosporine? Uh, prevention of transplant rejection. Assessing for symptoms of organ rejection throughout the therapy, you will have to monitor is if there are any kind of symptoms appear during the administration uh, of cyclosporine. Psoriasis. Assess skin lesions prior to and during the therapy if there is uh, uh, there is there is occurrence of uh, any kind of lien inside the body. Arthritis. Assess pain and limitation of movement prior to and during administration of cyclosporine. What are the nursing con consideration while administering that drug? Per oral precautions are mix oral solution with, with milk, chocolate milk, apple juice or orange juice, preferably at room temperature, stir well and drink at once. While administering uh, cyclosporine intravenously, Dilute each 1 ml of intravenous concentrate immediately before use with 2200 ml of normal saline solution that is 0.9% NaCl. Infuse slowly over 2 to 6 hours by infusion pump. Check Y site compatibility. The nursing parameters which you should follow while administration of cyclosporine that risk for infection chronic pain, fatigue, impaired skin integrity, impaired tissue integrity. Following are the symptoms which occur during transplant rejection. Uh, there may be three types of responses which occur during transplant rejection. That is hyper acute, acute and chronic. Hyper acute response occurs minute to hours after transplantation. No treatment organ must be removed immediately. Acute. Acute response includes occurs days, one week to month after transplantation. In that case, T, uh, T cytotoxic lymphocytes attack the transplanted organ. Chronic side effects or chronic effect includes or occurs over months to year, most common in lung transplantation. Some common signs and symptoms of cyclosporine administration are pain at the site of transplant, feeling ill, flu-like symptoms, fever, weight change, swelling, decreased urine output. These are the signs and symptoms that body immune system is not complying with the organ transplant. Thank you. What are the uses of cyclosporine? Cyclosporine, as I already told you, is an immunosuppressant drug which suppresses or reduces the strength of the immune system. Cyclosporine is used to prevent transplant rejection in people who have uh, undergone kidney, heart or liver transplant. Cyclosporine is used to prevent transplant or rejection in people who have undergone kidney, heart and liver transplantation. It is approved in the US for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, that is an autoimmune disorder. Severe psoriasis and as an ophthalmic emulsion for the treatment of dry eyes, that is called restasis. Also, also used in atopic dermatitis, chimuras disease, pyoderma, gangrenosum, chronic autoimmune urticaria. Thank you very much.